best program is presented by Success Society International. See you at the top. Success doesn't care where you come from. It doesn't care if you are rich, poor. It doesn't care about what you haven't. It doesn't care about the things and any family background. The only thing it cares about is that are you willing the price for that success? Hello Champion Society, this is Vabhav Nata, your presenter for being champions with Vabhav Nata. The guest we have with us today is a story of fairy tale I would say. Because this person has come from a small village, some back, some years back, some decades back. And now that same person is leading thousands and thousands of students. We are with Tika Ram Puri sir right now today for being champion today. Now this man lost his father at the age of four. He has his mother, her mother sold, you know, the land she had to make him teach, to make him learn, to give him education. And now today he's the superstar, the champion, the president of Pabson Nepal and the principal of Everest School. Thank you so much, sir, for giving us time today for this wonderful interaction. Here we go to interact with him for being champion, Sir Rahul Nahata. Welcome to being champion, Sir Rahul Nahata. Thank you. Sir. You, you also to welcome. Thank you so much. Our Everest school. Okay, thank you. So, is there some way I can? Okay, this is here for you now. <laughs> thank you. Sure. Thank you so much, sir. First of all, what astonishes the me the most about you is that at the age of four you lost your father, right? And thereafter, how you studied, like your mother had to sell their lands to teach you. And when today you see yourself teaching, you know, being a principal to thousands of students today, there are thousands of parents who look up to you as a milestone, as a person of inspiration. How do you feel? Actually, it is a matter to be proud to me uh -huh. uh, in my life. Uh -huh. uh, as you said, uh -huh. uh, whenever I was uh, of eight, four years old, uh -huh. uh, during that time my father was expired. Uh -huh. And then in my family there was no one educated person. Uh -huh. But my mother had very strong desire uh, to uh, give me uh, education. Uh -huh. Thereafter, whenever I was of Eight years old, I was admitted at, at uh, the school. Mm -hmm. I had to work for uh, day three hours to three go hours to school from my home. Uh -huh. uh, and thereafter, uh, you know, after uh, that, I passed SLC in 2042 Vikram mm -hmm. Sambat mm -hmm. from the Hilly Resign, Songo Sabha District, Khanbari. And then thereafter, I came to Biratangar for the study purpose. Though I was uh, moving to Kathmandu, but Kathmandu was you know, more expensive place. And then my friends, the other state, Biratangar is the cheap place. And because you can't spend a lot of money. That's true. Uh, I did not have my father too. There was yes. no my any uh, earning, you know, source. Mm -hmm. uh, there was my, uh, you know, farm. And from there, uh, you know, uh, my mother was there. And so that, uh, you know, I struggled here. And then it was, I used to, sell my uh, you know property also uh, land especially yes. and thereafter my mother supported me a lot wow. you know and then uh, you know from here I passed master degree thereafter I started a school and uh, this school also was started with our you know very little money mm. just during that time 50,000 rupees was invested by me mm. and other two of my friends were there and they also you know invested uh, 50 50,000 a total one lakh fifty thousand was total uh, our capital, and then we struggle and struggle and struggle. We have passed here twenty five, uh, uh, you know, years. Thereafter, right now, two thousand five hundred students are here. Wow! I think we have near about uh, we have invested near about one million, I think, yeah. And then, uh, uh, you know, uh, right now, uh, and then. Whenever uh, you know school was running, and mm. uh, I involved in person. Okay. It's the you know um, an umbrella organization of the private yes, and boarding yes, schools. That's true. And uh, first time in 2054 Bikram Samad, mm. I was elected as a, a member of uh, uh, Pepson Morang. That's true. Thereafter two terms, I became uh, secretary of Pepson Morang. Mm. 
then uh, where is uh, I got opportunity uh, uh, to carry out the various activities and where is the Papsonist they uh, were also uh, especially uh, realized that uh, Mr. Puri is uh, good leader yes and due to that I became again two terms president of okay, Morong and then I continued my journey and then uh, again two terms I became the you know uh, central uh, executive committee's uh, you know vice president mm. uh, two terms mm. thereafter I had given candidates for the senior vice president but the time did not support me I had to lose the you know election but I did not lose my, you know, uh, ambition, okay. aim, uh -huh. because my aim was to be the president, right? Uh, and then I uh, just, uh, you know, thereafter again, I had filed the, you know, nomination in the post of Central Executive Committee President. Okay. Uh, before it, okay. before two years, uh -huh. there again I lost election. Uh -huh. But I continued my, you know, you did journey. Not give up there. Yeah, journey. After this time only I got success wow, as that's, a president. That's awesome. Sense. So Not. when we look back into a wholesome journey, when you were back there four years old, you lost your father, you had literally nothing with yourself and now that you have everything you have wanted. Now let me ask you first of all that when you were at that point of time, you are 10 years or 15 years old, did you ever think that you will become uh, such a big person, the national president of Papson or anything like this? Did you hope yourself to become so big? It's a great challenge actually. But one thing I tell you, if we uh, have willpower, huh. if we do not lose willpower, hmm. then I think it is possible and it is proved in my life. Hmm. Though it is not easy, yes. you know, because uh, till now, no one became the president of Pravson Central Executive Committee, the person from outside of Delhi, you know, wow. just because I am the person uh, that only I got, I got opportunity mm. to be the president of Epson mm. out of Kathmandu Valley, you know. Uh, it is a great challenge, I think. But uh, the lesson we need to take it, we must have, uh, you know, a strong determination. That's true. And then willing power and then regularity, mm. continuity, you know. It's, these are the factors. To so, get from this wonderful journey, full of struggles, now I want you to recall personally about one biggest challenge you had in this journey. Any one biggest challenge you faced? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a really challenge. Mm. Uh, challenge. So, what I'm asking is that through this big journey, full of challenges, full of obstacles, I want you to look back through this journey and see about one situation or one challenge that really bothered you, that really made you, you know feel so low about yourself or that made you really feel down. So please tell us something about some of those challenges. Actually, firstly, you know, uh, in my life, uh -huh. uh, it was a big challenge to receive education, as I already said. Yes. Because in my family, there was no educated person. That's good. You know, just my father was a, you know, earlier uh, farmer, mother farmer, sister, other were farmer, just one. They were illiterate even and then in that place way uh, when I was born you know there is no one uh, you know uh, before we passed SLC mm -hmm. yes, I was the first person from my place Achha? yeah I passed SLC okay. and then another was problem there though I was talented in uh -huh. study you know and then uh, that is another challenge you know to come to the you know uh, to 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 just come to be that number mm. because I was only one son of my mother, mm. you know, you know. But she supported. She supported. Supported me because she said me, yes, you go, go ahead. Even I did not have my source, you know. Mm. But my mother, she did not care to sell, you know, even property. Uh, as I already said, you land. Mm. She sold land, land for my sell. education. And then thereafter, you know, another challenge was there, you know, uh, you know, to get success with the very little amount investment capital mm -hmm. also, it's a big challenge, you know, but it is proved that, you know, only money is not enough. You know, the person, those who have strong determination, willing power, those uh, who are laborious, who carry out enough effort, you know, that person also gets success, isn't it? It is proved that. 
and then because in Biratnagar also there were during that time many good schools. Mm. But I was the person who came from elitism. Just as I said you, in average school we invested one lakh fifty thousand only. In total. In, in total. the starting part. It started, you know, before twenty five years. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Then, but I continued my journey. Even in the beginning days, I used to teach even seven periods boarding myself as a principal. I was the principal. Okay. I, you know, and then still you see, uh, just I come to the school at seven thirty. Every day. Every day. With consistency. Yeah. Whenever I I remain at Biratnagar, you know, mm. I just come and evening after six o'clock only I get freedom. Still I carry out my duty at the school. So let's go and. Through this journey and discuss more about how you went through for you know being the champion you are today. Yeah. Okay. So for now the question I have said is that when you began up with Everest or whenever you began up with different things you did in life. When you face challenges, most people give up, right? They don't want to do things that are challenging. How do you, you, how do you as a person manage challenges and keep yourself motivated even when times are tough? Actually, uh, 24 years uh, time, mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, I invested uh, in my, uh, you know, uh, most important time, mm -hmm. you know, of life, you know. Because whenever school was uh, you know established, I was of 29 years old. Okay. You know it. Uh -huh. My just uh, uh, most important time, valuable time, I invested here. And then, uh, as I already said, it, whatever I decide, whatever I determine, I'm very strong. I have very strong wow. uh, willpower. Because I should have to complete the thing, whatever. You begin with. Yeah. It's 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 my habit, you know. So how can everyone develop that? Uh, I think it, it's by nature, you know, okay. uh, by luck also, uh -huh. whatever, whatever is said, God, uh, God gifted also. So each and every person does not have same kind of quality. You know? That's true. Though I need to say I have also some weak points, a lot of. Okay. Know? But in this uh, uh, matter, I am strong. That's awesome. So, do you sometimes go to the class and teach them about uh, how your journey was, how you went through all these challenges? And then you know became the champion, I would say. Actually, sometimes I go to the class, and uh, I like to take classes also because, as I already said you, in the beginning time of the school, I took a lot. You know, right now also I like to go to class, but I don't have time. You know, I have shortage of time, and sometimes I go and uh, just uh, I uh, give a motivational classes sometimes, gathering the students. You That's know. true. Yeah, whenever I get. Free, you know, yeah. then I gather in the uh, program or conference hall. Okay. Thereafter, I deliver motivational kind of, you know, speech. Yeah. That's wonderful. So, Tikaram uh, sir, the next thing we have is that with the students today, you interact with hundreds and thousands of students in your school itself. So, yeah. what is the major challenge the school students face today, and how can we overcome that? Actually, uh, you know, this is 21st century. Mm -hmm. uh, now we have many more, you know, uh, benefits and uh, uh, you know, advantages from information technology. Okay. But the, right now there is one problem. That there are some problems also. That is, student misuse IT. Mm -hmm. They don't have habit of learning. You know? They misuse IT. This is the big challenge. They don't like to go through the book. They don't uh, have, you know, time uh, to study from the book. You know. Just uh, every time they are just uh, they ha if they have laptop they use mobile this that you know they misuse it's a big challenge. So what do you think can be a proper solution to this problem? I think uh, first one we need to do counseling to the student. Okay. Uh, it's the best way. Okay. Because uh, you know uh, they uh, with the terror uh, uh, you know they don't uh, uh, get an improvement mm -hmm. and this uh, you know time to counsel them. Even parents also have to create good situation, mm. good environment at home. Mm. You know, that's so now let's come into this way. And what I want to understand now is that personally, how do you manage your time? You have, you know, work in the school as a principal. Along with that, you yourself uh, are the national president of Pabson. Mm. 
you have your family, you like taking classes with your students. How do you manage your time through all these things? Sometimes I go to Mechi, sometimes I go to Mayakali, sometimes I go to Tarai, sometimes I go to Ilivizan. Okay. But uh, whenever there is no program, I stay at school only. Okay. You know? Uh, frequently, I need to visit Kathmandu yes. because that is the, our uh, you know, head office okay. of Capsule, Central Executive Committee. And as a president, I need to stay there and uh, I need to visit the several government offices. Mm. You know, uh, though in spite of this, you know, uh, whenever I stay at Biratmandar, I like to come to the school because I don't have time to take rest at home, especially home for just taking rest in the night time only. So we are in the last part of our interaction interview now. We'll play a short rapid fire round. I'll shoot random words to you and you just have to speak a sentence about it. Is that okay? So, Tika Rampuri. Is a person of struggling. Okay. And Everest school? Everest school is a good school in Nepal. Okay. And Tapson? Tapson is an uh, umbrella organization of all the private schools uh, uh, of Nepal. And Vavav Nahata? Our mother is a young and energetic uh, uh, person. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. So, how was your experience in being champions today? Uh, it's a matter to be, uh, you know, uh, proud to me. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Being Champions with Vabhav Nata. I promise you to be back next Monday 7pm with greater zeal, energy and enthusiasm and an even wonderful guest to discuss about their journey to the top. See you soon in the next episode of Being Champions with Vabhav Nata. This program is presented by Success Society International. See you at the top.